All right, this guy's clearly memeing me here. Yosh! What's up, Joe Crew? It's me, Joku, and I'm back with another deck playthrough. I was looking on the internet, and I uh, I went over to DBS Deck Planet, and I found somebody that made a leader that I used to love to play. I don't know if you recognize him. His name is Broly, the Awakened Threat. I topped uh, Chicago Regionals with this, and it was actually funny because the person that made this list, I happened to bubble them out of that regional by bubbling in, and I later played them on an online webcam regional, and they're playing this deck with a set one leader. And when I sat down and played this leader, I was like, all right, this guy's clearly memeing me here. And then he proceeded to play a bunch of Frieza one drops and kill them and keep getting his energy back and getting more energy back. And I was like, what is going on? What is this leader? Why is his deck so nasty? And he totally beat me up. And I was like, dude, this deck's amazing. Join my crew. Join my crew. So his name's Dane. If you guys don't know him, he's part of the Joe crew. Found his list on DBS Deck Planet. So we're definitely gonna call him at the end of this video and be like, yo, Dane, what's up? And then post it at the end of the video as we did with Frank. But this deck list is dedicated to Dane. This is Dane's deck list. I made a couple uh, adjustments to it. Added a couple extra cards, a couple things here, but I'll post my list uh, in the description below so you can uh, get this list. Basically, it's playing with the new green, yellow Broly stuff that came out in the expansion that was uh, Special Anniversary Box 2021. It's really cool stuff. Don't really know how to play it. I've never played through this deck, but I'm gonna play through it here. So I'm gonna stop and read some cards and figure out what they do, and I'll explain how they work as I do it. Uh, this may not be as optimal as some of the other games I've done because I've never played these cards but i'm gonna do my best to play them well and just show you guys how i think it works basically this leader got eroded so this leader used to be able to untap anything once per turn it was really busted with mira people used to play mira in here and mira would be a wild man but mira no longer can do that because now he can only untap broly br cards but a lot of the cards in this deck are Broly BR cards. A lot of the boss monsters get effects off of untapping, but I would say one of the places where this deck is weak is that the Brolies don't have too much protection. So they can get God Ceiling, they can get tapped by uh, Zamasu. Um, there's things that can affect these cards so that the deck doesn't work quite as well, but I think it is a strong deck. It looks really cool. I think the cards are really strong. So let's see what it does. All right, so we got our six here. What are we gonna keep? I think the unison is pretty good in this deck and I think you wanna have a green yellow on turn one. I think this guy also kind of starts your chain. So I think with that, that's probably a good opening hand. So we'll send the rest of this back and shuffle it up one more time. So basically this five drop, what happens is he's an arrival for one green or yellow energy. And when he comes into play, you get to choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of four or less and negate its skills for the turn. So basically how this deck works is you make cards skillless and then you KO skillless cards. Um, I think that's essentially the way that it works. So I'm gonna kind of simulate on the other side and say like, you know, this card's on the other side, I'm gonna make this card skillless and then do the effects to try and show how the cards would pop other cards and stuff like that. So it's a little bit more of an interactive deck. It's kind of hard to just play without an opposing side, but I'm gonna do my best to kind of explain if there are cards on the other side, what's going on with them and how these interactions work. So I'm gonna set our life over here and let's get into this run through. So as always, I'm gonna roll some dice. Uh, I'm gonna roll for Broly. We get a six and our opponent gets a seven. So they're gonna be going first. It's gonna be our turn one. Uh, we are not the turn player, so we draw for turn. Wanna put a multicolor on our energy. So I'm just gonna kick it off with charging this dude in our energy. Swing the leader. Uh, with this leader, you have to take a life. And if you take a life, then you can draw a card. So I'm gonna take the life and draw a card. And we'll just leave that at 10 and then we'll pass turn to them. It's gonna be their turn two. So we'll say that they deal a damage to us and now they pass turn to us. We draw for turn and we're gonna put something in our energy here. So I think you don't need so many unisons. I'm gonna put a unison in our energy 
and I'm going to play a unison for one energy. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to keep this energy up in case we see a uh, card that needs us to have a mono yellow energy up. So that's going to go there. Uh, plus one on this unison. It's a one energy unison. You plus one. And it says activate main. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Add up to one green, yellow freezes army. So this is if green, yellow freezes army. So we can add this to our hand. That's the big boy Broly who can come out for, I think he's a swap for two or a rival for three. So you don't need the target to play him off swap. You can still arrival him but being able to swap into him is pretty good. Uh, and then we are gonna swing with our leader. So we'll swing with our leader, auto, take the life and draw a card. And that's gonna be 10 at them. And then we will pass turn to our opponent. So. Uh, our opponent's turn is going, they are probably going to, let's say they swing at our unison once, take it to one. I'm going to leave our unison just so we can show some stuff to do with it. And then say they attack our leader with something. Uh, when they attack, we can power the super sand, draw a card, rest something. Uh, before we play something, since we rested one of their cards, it gives us the ability to play poutine and we draw a card. And uh, in my Gohan uh, list, I didn't explain this properly. When Poutine is in play, when your opponent plays a card, you get to choose one of their cards and switch it to rest mode. It doesn't have to card be the card that's being played by the skill. You can just choose whatever and switch it to rest mode. Um, and then let's say they hit our leader for one. So we'll take one in our hand. And, um, oh, actually, you know what? If they're swinging at our leader, this we want to use this battle step here. So in using this battle step, we can uh, use this super combo and say they swung with a battle card, we can uh, super combo with this, rest their leader, or if there was something skillless, we can KO the skillless card. And now that we have that in our combo area, we can pay one energy and arrival this guy for one uh, green or yellow. When this card is played, or when this card is switched to active mode by a skill during your opponent's turn, Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of four less and negated skills for the turn. So we can choose one of their cards, negated skills for the turn. And since we're in battle, we can activate battle and switch this card to rest mode once per turn. Choose one of your opponent's skillless cards and KO it. So that allows us to KO one of the four or less cards on their side. Say they had like a Tapion Calamity Challenger and they were trying to swing us from five to four. We can super combo this, uh, arrival this, negated skills, activate battle, switches to rest mode and KO it. So that's kind of how we're going to defend through that turn. And then they'll pass turn to us. We'll draw for turn and then charge something. I think uh, probably charge this so that will set us up to be able to use our reposts on defense. Uh, everything is going to untap here. Um, I would say the first thing to do is we want to plus on our unison here. Go to two. Search the top five cards. Uh, there's three, four, five, and this is our only target for that. And we'll shuffle these back into our deck. Um, after we find that target, um, oh, also when we arrivaled this card, sorry, this gains a marker from the arrival. So we're gonna add a marker here. Um, uh, now the next thing we can do is we can uh, switch, uh, we can swing with this card. So that's gonna be a 19K swing and then they'll have to deal with that swing. And then we can pay two energy. We need one green and one yellow for the swap. So one green and one yellow, tap to rest mode, activate swap, play this Broly, bounce him back to hand. When this card is played, draw a card. And when this card is played or when this card is switched to active mode during your turn, choose one of your opponent's battle cards or unison cards and negate its skills for the turn. And then he has an activate battle once per turn, choose up to one of your opponent's skillless battle cards and KO it. 
So when this comes into play, we're just gonna choose whatever we want. It can't ignore barrier, but we'll choose something and ignore its skills. So now that becomes a skillless card. We can then swing with our leader. When we swing with our leader, we take a life, draw a card, awaken, which allows us to untap two energy. And then we can activate battle on here and KO that card. Um, and then we can, uh, we can also swing with this guy. And when we swing with this guy, we can combo a Golemite. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Goliamite. And when we combo with this card, uh, we choose one of our Broly BR cards and give it plus 5k for the duration of the turn. So we're going to give this guy plus 5k. And then we're going to combo again to give it another 5k. So this is now 45 double strike. And then we can combo off one of these reposts to get a yellow card in our battle area. And then we can pay one green and one yellow to play uh, SS Broly All Out Assault. When we play SS Broly All Out Assault, we get to draw a card and choose one of our opponent's cards to switch it to rest mode. So we can choose one of their energy and just switch that to rest mode when he comes into play. And when we play a card with a rival once per turn, we get to add a marker to this. So we're now at four. So that's gonna be 45, 55, 60 double strike that they're gonna have to deal with. That's pretty big. After we do that, we can activate main, choose one card in our life, and add it to our hand off our leader skill and choose one of our Broly BR cards and switch it to active mode. And when this card is switched to active mode during your turn, choose one of your opponent's battle cards or unison cards and negate its skills for the turn. So now we can negate another card and remove the skills of another card. Now we can swing with him again. He's gonna be another 45 double strike. And then we can swing with this guy. He's gonna be 25 single strike. And now I think we're good to pass turn. So when we pass turn and they attack, the first thing we're gonna negate with is a repost. So we negate with this repost. Uh, now for the duration of the turn, whenever they play a card, they're gonna have to switch something to rest mode. And we're also gonna get to switch something to rest mode off of Poutine's effect. So we're just resting a lot of their cards. They'll probably go in at our unison and let's say they mark, knock our unison down to two. Uh, for one, sure. Uh, they're gonna pass turn and say maybe they get rid of one of these Broly's. They killed this somehow with some effect. Um, and then we will draw for our turn. Uh, choose a card to put in our energy. Uh, I'm not really simulating their gameplay side, so I'm not going to use Bloodlust, but if you guys don't know what this card does, it's very powerful. You can only have one in your deck, and it's a counterplay. Since Broly is a Freeze's army, you can pay one energy and just negate the skills of something for the turn, which is really, really strong, but limited to one since it's such a strong card. Oh, actually, you know, I'm not going to charge that. I'm going to charge this guy so we have more green. Okay, so here we go. Now, um... I guess the first thing we would do here is just plus on our unison to find a target. So we'll look at our top five. Wonder if we're gonna see sell again. Not this time. Okay, do we have a green, yellow, freezes army? And this time we do not have a green, yellow, freezes army. Uh, yeah, it's gotta be a green, yellow, freezes army. So no targets there. So we'll shuffle this back up. It's pretty cool that that can actually grab the super combo. I think that's pretty powerful to be able to look at top five and grab the super combo. It's pretty wild. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we want to get something to be skillless. So the way in which we can get something to be skillless is by restanding this big guy. So I think the first thing we would do is just swing with our, uh, yeah, probably swing with our leader to draw and just you know go in for 15k and then the next thing we can do is we can swing with this guy for 35 double strike and when he's 35 double strike we can uh i uh, use his effect after we swing or we can use his effect uh add a life to our hand stand him back up when we stand him up we can negate the skills of something and then we can swing again with him. And when we swing again, we can activate battle to pop whatever card came into play. And while we're swinging with him, or we probably leave that at 35 double strike. Then we can swing with Frieza. When we swing with Frieza, 
we can combo uh, this this guy. When we have a multicolor in our energy, he's a free combo and he gets our green yellow in play. So we'll combo with him, pay one to arrival this Broly. When he gets arrived, we can negate the skills of something and it's gonna add a marker to our unison. So we'll negate the skills of something four or less. And if we wanna get rid of that card that's four or less, we can just switch this to rest mode in our battle step, activate battle and KO that skillless card that's four or less. So that's gonna be a 20K swing. And then we can activate swap again on him. So pay one green and one yellow, play him, bounce him back to hand and off his skill draw card. Uh, when he comes into play, he's gonna negate the skills of something and then we can swing it, whatever that thing is or we can just leave him up and we can swing with uh, this activate battle and just KO that card and he's a blocker. So maybe we'll try leaving him up for our, our defensive step this time. So we'll pass turn, it's gonna be their turn. During their turn, maybe they, uh, they swing with something and uh, we can block that first attack or the first attack I guess we would negate with repost. So we'll pay one, negate with repost, and then the next attack will block, and then maybe we have to combo out of the next attack. So let's say we uh, combo these two cards. So we can combo this, activate battle, remove this, remove a card from their combo area, activate battle on Paragus to draw by removing him from their combo area, and this is way better than a Paragus. And then uh, we'll pass. they'll pass turn to us, or maybe they get our unison down to one again, let's say. All right, so we're gonna draw a card and then uh, choose a card from our hand and put it in our energy area. So we'll charge this unison here. And another cool thing about the unison is you can activate battle to uh, choose a card in your drop area and use it in your combo area, uh, by, but you negate its skills. So something we can do this time to get our arrival, if we don't have our arrival ready or we don't wanna use one of our super combos yet, we can swing with our leader, draw a card, activate battle, bring this guy into our combo area to make it a, uh, make it a 25K swing, which gives us our arrival. And when we arrival, we can pay one energy to play him, negate something skills for or less, get a marker for the arrival. Now they have to deal with that and we can just tap this after the arrival to KO the thing that's four or less. This is gonna to go to the drop area and then we can activate, or then we'd probably swing with this um, and negate something. I think he negates skills, uh, no, when it's switched to active mode. So I guess the next thing to do would be we can uh, activate swap, play him for two and we're gonna bounce this to our hand. When he gets played, he draws a card and negates the skills of some uh, skills of something. So when he negates the skills of something, we can activate battle, or we can swing with this, activate battle, KO the thing that we were negating the skills of. This is gonna be a 25, 35K double strike. Um, and then another thing we can do is we can combo this Vegeta's final flash on him to go to 40k double or 50k double strike and negate the skills of something else and activate battle on another one of our Broly's to KO the other thing that's now skillless from Vegeta's final flash. Um, take a life, stand this guy up and swing again and swing again and swing again and swing and swing and yeah, you get the idea. Maybe you can even just swing with poutine and then combo your skill steel chi lies. And if there are things that are uh, skillless now from say your Vegeta's Final Flash and you didn't have these guys to activate battle, you can just kill them off the chi lie because chi lie will KO a skillless card. So this card and this card work really well together. Um, and then of course, if all of this didn't work out as well as you thought it did um, and you, need, you needed to, uh, kill them if you had your cell secret rare who should be in here somewhere we saw him before and now he doesn't want to come out to play come on cell get out here where are you where are you come on buddy we're gonna deck out before we find you is he all the way at the bottom now he was hanging out at the top i don't think this cell likes me very much we're gonna draw through our, oh here he is okay so say at the beginning of the turn we didn't do this play to play this card and the other card if we had uh arrived two of these instead which will, would have allowed us to draw two cards and and switch two things to rest mode we could rest out their energy and if we had cell in hand we could just successor 
uh, put these back to hand. We have five energy, take three cards out of our opponent's hand and then swing 40K quad strike. So very, very strong deck. I think there's a lot of cool stuff they can do with this. Unfortunately, I think this deck kind of gets really slowed down by blue. I think blue can counter the Broly's and if you can't get the Broly's out on board, unfortunately, when you activate swap, you have to bounce the target back to your hand. So when you bounce the five drop back to your hand and you don't get to play the eight drop, that they then you lose your target and you basically have to arrival him for three energy and three energy is kind of a lot in this guy um you know especially since you have to eat your life to use your skills and eat your life to do other stuff anyway so that's kind of what some of these cards do um i added some power of the super sands and some uh reposts i think you know they're just such good cards and i think vegeta's final flash works really well in this deck as well i think i just have two in here right now but i'd probably go to three after thinking about how good it is with this skill steel chili so probably cut this nimbus and maybe even cut one of these or even cut a unison i don't think the unison you need four of it's a it's a good unison but um yeah, I think if you were to cut two of these, I'd probably just go up to four Vegeta's Final Flash since the, this deck works so well with negating thing skills and that basically does that for you. Anyway, that's the list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. So, you know, guys like Broly, they can get pretty mad. You can see in this image, he's, he's not very pleased, you know, he's very tense. Uh, looks like he's screaming. Uh, a lot of times what happens is when you're really stressed, you can overwork your masseter or this main muscle of mastication right here. It can result in tension, headaches, uh, jaw issues, things like that. So making sure that you're getting the right uh, therapy to make sure that your jaw joint is healthy can really help your teeth overall. Uh, things like oral appliances or a retainer at night or an NTI, different devices that help your occlusion be more comfortable can really help when you're really stressed and you may just make your life easier and re reduce your headaches and jaw pain by having one of those. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's call Dane. All right, we're calling Dane. It's his list. We gotta give him a call. Oh, hello. Would you like to say hi to the world? Hello, hi. Oh, hi world. Oh, hi world. Welcome to it. Um, so there's a little story here that's funny with what happened because I just went on the internet looking for ideas like I usually do and I said, oh, what kind of internet idea can I steal? And all of a sudden I see a D-A-N-E deck list with a leader that I think I kind of messed things up for you with a little bit. Uh, Is that correct? Oh, okay. So, so that one, uh, was... Our local game store um, has been making pre-cons for a while now. And so what we've done is we've created very budget versions of these decks so we can provide them to new players to give them a real end of the game. Oh, cool. The starter deck, yeah, the starter decks in this game are just not quite there. But yeah. Gina and Mass Saiyan were a great step. In the yeah, right yeah, yeah, I agree. Okay, but, but I want you to tell the story of what happened in Chicago. No. Okay, so I'm playing uh, red green Broly Surge. Deck comes or the card comes out that day. I totally, very definitely played in an event to get that leader. Don't ask any other questions. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> so I'm playing through the day. I'm like five zero. I'm playing. There's seven rounds. There were going to be eight, but I'm five zero. I play Robert Reitz in round six as the two undefeateds along with Joey Palladino. Um, I lose Joey, uh, ties. And so then they go, all right, well, we were going to play the next round. So we do, I lose to Javad Cruz in a embarrassing, honestly, I just like dumped on something that I had no business dumping on. Yeah, I did that and at he, Nats. <laughs> <laughs> he just had, he was like, uh, okay, good game. Um, like I, I like came in and I'm like, all right, here we go. I'm going to dump and then I'm going to end my, my dump by playing scramble. And then he goes, Frostedly Poison? And I'm Rip. like, all right, Rip. so double into your four life. Uh, <laughs> I should have just started the combo with that. Um, yeah, it was okay. Really bad. So so you would have gotten in the top 16, and I kind of I kind of stole your top 16 spot with this leader. I'll let you know. But the story doesn't end here. So this is where the story gets better, right? I'm online for a webcam game, and I, what, what was, I, was I playing Gotenks? 
I was playing green go tanks. Yeah, because, you know, I was just playing some crap that I just, like, I don't know what's good right now. I don't know what to play. I was playing green go tanks. And the last, I played in the, I played in the uh, regional for, um, what was it? The one that was in person, Gen Con regional. And I, like, got in the top 16 somehow with go tanks because, like, the deck was just, like, a, you know, it's push play kind deflect of deck. Yeah, deflect 25k, yeah, 25K okay. discard your opponent's hand, you know, play the same thing, rinse and repeat. So I sit down and this guy, you know, I just see a set one Frieza go down on the table and he's like, oh yeah, I know you. He's like, you're the guy that screwed me in Chicago. And I was like, oh, whoops, sorry. Uh, what is this leader? Who is this leader? So it's set one Frieza, right? And then he starts just playing these weenies, these little one drops. And I was like, okay, what does this card do? What does this card do? He's like, they're just drawing me cards, okay? They're just drawing me cards, it's fine. And I was like, but what about all that other text? He's like, it doesn't matter. They're just drawing me cards. So he continues to play these little weenies and then he just starts murdering them with his leader and untapping energy. And I'm like, what is going on with this deck, dude? And then by like turn five, he had built this board. You had the, the, the uh, spirit dragon fist Goku on board. And it was like, I was just like dead. I was, there was like no way I was doing anything. I was like, dude, you just murdered me so badly. And that was awesome. Join my crew, please <laughs> join my crew. <laughs> so from that moment on, I mean, dude, you did really well. You made it all the way to the top. And then what you played, um, I, got, I, I lost to Dehan in the finals. Dehan uh, in the finals. Yeah. Yellow Icarus at full strength, which was still a little tough. Yeah, but dude, for play, you know, for playing a deck that and everybody was sleeping on, you know, you're probably developing nobody, nobody that completely yourself. So and 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 in Dane's respect at Nats, I would say what was it like? Ninety percent of Crossworlds was playing set one Frieza. Uh, Danny Wynn, Joey Palladino, Marcus Cantarsi, Jordan Beard. Uh, Jordan's was admi admittedly a blue yellow build, but the others were yeah. all like base inspiration, and they yep. just kind of like went a little less controlly than I had it. But we yeah. basically play the exact same deck. I mean, um, dude, the list is really good. It's yellow, it's yellow soul striker. Um, the thing that sure. I found when I was playing it was I didn't like how if my resources got removed, I had to reestablish and that put me behind on the energy on tap. Whereas with Soul Striker, it's like the only thing that's gonna put you behind is your leader getting tapped. But anyway, that's that story. Dane is on the Joe crew. I contracted him onto my ship. I forgot his t-shirt when I went to Nats. I'm a total jerk. I'm a complete scrub. I'm a, using my channel to make a public apology for not having Dane's t-shirt at Nats. I'm trash, but I love him and I love you guys. Um, do you have anything you want to say to the to the, to the the Joe crew and the community and tips and tricks uh, of the trade? You know, honestly, proud to be here. Um, I really am happy to have had a performance that finally showed. Like, my local state knows that I'm a great player, but I didn't get to uh, attend in a lot of stuff. So it was really great to play in that. And honestly, just because new stats and new cards aren't coming out doesn't mean the meta has stopped. Yeah. Innovation like that does come along. Um, I was just talking to a local friend who was like, man, I just don't know what to do with Soul Strike. And I'm like, dude, all the cards for that Yellow Frieza deck have existed for like several months besides exactly GT Goku 8, which is not the core of the deck. No, totally. So you can play it. You can play it without it. Yeah, right. And so it's it's all about looking at the entire big picture and every time that you sit down and go what should i play you shouldn't just look at what other people are playing you should go look at every single leader in the game and read them once more yeah figure out totally. is there some card that came out two three sets ago that's still in the power level of the game that can be abused right yeah um, and and also also cards that you just like like if there's a character you yeah. like like you're gonna be more jazzed on playing a deck that's a character you like i mean don't get me wrong the height of mastery broly was broken but the fact that it had ui goku and broly in it dbs broly like i had no excuse to not play that deck and i loved it and yeah i was overpowered but i had my time in the sun and it happens sometimes, you know, sometimes like, that's why I brought Kefla to Nats. It's like, I love Kefla. She's an awesome character and I get to play her in, in Goku. And the fact that I get to play, say that I'm playing a blue, yellow soul striker deck at nationals. Like I have to be lying to myself if I wasn't psyched on that. But yeah, I think that's great advice. There, there are so many cards. There's so many strategies. There's so much that hasn't been discovered because this community is actually tiny. It's really, really small, you know? And like, we have some of the greatest heads in the in card games period that are putting together these really great ingenious ideas. So um, 
you know, huge props to you for getting that set one Frieza deck list running. And that's, you know, that's the kind of man I want on my ship. Um, I'm going to continue this conversation with you, but I'm going to close this video. That, that's it. Any, any, any last, do you have any good jokes? Any jokes? What are the Buddhist? Uh, what I are guess the... Minnesota weather is a joke in of itself. I spent like an hour and a half shoveling so I can move my Prius. That's that's wild. That's why I had to be driving a Prius in that weather is wild. Respect. Yeah. All right, Joker closing out.